everybody so today i will be sharing with you our trips to lake wengra this is to see the musky jump from the other side of the dam to spawn on the springtime and here's the video what are we doing april what are we doing? We're gonna watch the muskies jump. Why are they jumping? Because it's a spring. Because it's a stream? <laughs> it's a spring. They just jump this thing. It's because they're spawning up there. Yeah. Well, there might be another one. Just gotta hey, wait. Even though it's not on the screen, it's still filming, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just can't see. It must be in the frame. I think it's where we fishing. Yeah, it's where we fished the bluegills. They're going up up there to spawn. Oh, they're coming from the other lake and they swim upstream to spawn. Okay. What the hell is that, April? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's called butt crack. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> there it is, April. Okay. Are you hungry? Yeah, give me. Yeah, I'll take one. What is that? Pringles. You remember that? Your makeup. <laughs> I, we missed the other one. It's not chocolate. They were jumping more like a week ago. So it's all gone now. Not yet. You just seen one jump. Just didn't so film it. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go to go to a Chinese. You know they put MSG. Yeah, you like MSG, don't you? Yeah. You know it's bad for you, right? You said it's not. MSG? Yeah. You don't think MSG is bad for you? Facebook. Said so it's good for you, huh? <clears throat> yeah, it's just. This is it's just a brainwashing. It's not really sodium. <laughs> so and wait, Jim, wait. You can get it from the salt. So MSG is brainwashing. And, and glutamate is like you can get it from meat vegetables uh, so it's just a combination of salt and both of so it's not really bad <coughs> on your i don't know this chips is our msg i think it's bad for your kidneys it's the umami flavor the glutamate and so the umami flavor umami mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> that we crave? That's the face. Sweet, <laughs> sour, salty, and umami is the fifth thing. Omami? Mm -hmm. What does omami taste like? You can get it from tomato. 
It's a craving. It's a taste that we crave. All right, we need a muskie to jump here. <laughs> that guy caught a fish. Not a muskie though. What's gonna happen is I'll take the camera away and then it'll jump. Waiting for a muskie to jump is just like fishing. <laughs> okay, come on, jump. Tell the muskie to jump, April. You gotta coax him. Did you see that? What? A little bit of tail. <laughs> yeah, you can see him down there, but they can see him down there swimming. You don't like one there. There. But it's. Yep. We want him to jump though. <laughs> see that one? See that one? Oh yeah. yeah. I can't see him. <laughs> oh, right there. There's a muskie right there. See him? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a nice one. Oh wow, look at that. Oh god. <laughs> He, when we first walked up, he tried, he tried twice to go up over and miss, so he's still resting. Big. Look at, look at him down here. Two. Look at how big that one is. Jesus. It's amazing how big he is. Why don't you jump in there and help him? Help <laughs> yeah. him get over the, the dam so he can go breed and have baby muskies. Oh, all female and male or only the it's, I think it's, I think the females are the ones jumping. I'm not sure, I don't know. Might be both. <clears throat> I know it's definitely the females are going up there. See how beat up he is? Yeah, from That's from thing. trying to jump, yeah. Wait, is that always that low? Or Yeah. I really want to see one jump. Well, not right now because the muskies, the muskies are jumping, so there's no fishing right here. When the muskies stop, stop spawning, then they'll take that out, and then you can fish here. An instinct tells them that they got to go upstream. That right up there is Lake Wingra. Without the dam, they don't have to jump. Well, no. But the Lake Wingro would be a lot smaller. This dam keeps it at a certain level. Fell over? Yeah. Fish right on the edge. Oh, right there? Yeah. It got sucked over the dam? Yeah. That's a big one right there. It's like he wants to try it. He's got his head up. Yeah, because if he jumped, they're gonna be stuck in both sides. Wrong 
You gotta interact them, April. Tell them where to jump. Oh! Oh God! It didn't make it. Oh! <laughs> We got three of them jumping. That effort was wasted. Mm -hmm. He's making a run for it. Where is it? It's right there. They gotta go down deep. Oh yeah. Swim up. Those muskies will come up and just eat those. Yeah, no oh yeah. Three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Or four. Not successful. None of them made it though. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we just watched um, three um, muskies jump, but not really the successful ones. So we, we've been there for like for 30 minutes. J jumping over what? Jumping over the dam. The muskies. So that's kind of first time I saw it. But not really successful. None of them um, was able to go to the other side of the dam. So musky or musky launch is also known as muscalonj, miliganum, or muskinoj. It's kind of hard to the real pronunciation on these words, but I'll just put them down below. I don't know the real pronunciation on this one. So musky is the top freshwater predator um, native to North America. So the largest musky caught weigh 61.21 pound or 27.8 kilogram. This was caught on November 2000 at Georgian Bay, Ontario. Its weight is equivalent to an average nine-year-old kid. There's also one that is caught by Gary Gilbert, which is length of 59 and a half inches and it's considered to be the oldest which is the assume that it's like 25 years old and the biggest however when it comes to musky they, they do the weight not the length of the musky so it's kind of you know because musky sometimes their weight changes it's depends on the season of course but that's how they determine if this is the the biggest they determine the muskies to be the biggest for the record is for the, its weight not for the length of the musky so although there are other references saying that they have like 63 inches you know length of the musky but they really are disputing the validity of that so the only record that they have with the evidence was the one that i just mentioned with gary gilbert and the one found in georgiana georgina bay ontario they usually spawn in the mid late spring spawning usually lasts for five to ten days and it usually occur during the night time so on spawning they prefer the sun bottom or rock bottom bottom because if the bottom is mud their eggs can can sink into the mud and suffocate and that's that's why they don't prefer the mud bottom one thing also you want to know about muskies are they don't migrate and they can 
he can live up to 30 years old and that's it that's all guys and see you in my next video